So it's not about what we see. It's about what God knows. And if ministries like that are calling and asking, there's something that God has resided in me that I need to give to the people. Are we understanding? And since God has decided to give it here, amen, let's all join on board. Amen. Since God has blessed Bishop Tellus, let's all join with him and get behind the vision. Because I promise you, if Bishop got up, and I hope he don't do this, but if he got up and said, okay, today I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going back east somewhere. I'm going to go and pastor. I promise you. He would be pastor of church of no smaller than 10,000 members. Amen. That's right. Because he has that much in him. And, and a lot of churches are out there looking for it. There's churches on the East Coast right now, large memberships that are looking for men like Bishop Tellus. I'm trying to keep him a secret. I don't want them to know about him. Because I don't want my bishop to leave. <laughs> you me. I know that's right. <laughs> Priest lady Tellus. Amen. Keep him here. Amen. He has greatness in him. Amen. Oh, I thought somebody would say amen to that. This man has, even on a natural level, he's, he's worked at the Pentagon. Most of you don't even know what the Pentagon is. Amen. It's one of the highest uh, security places where uh, a lot of top military people meet. Amen. And decide the fate of this country and the protection of our nation. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't getting excited. I can count on one hand how many people I know that worked at the Pentagon. I won. Right here. Amen. So let's get excited. Amen. Today's message, I pray that it will inspire you. It inspired me. And we have to now find our place in this ministry. I want to say this because I think that sometimes we, we misunderstand Everybody here is important. All right, did you hear me? Everybody here is important. And I don't want us to come off as saying, well, you know, the only important people are the leaders. Every person here, we need you. We need your support. We need your prayers. We need, we need everything that you can give. Amen. So when you're not here, we do miss you. I know some churches, they lie and say, oh, we didn't, you know, they wouldn't hear no big deal. No, we miss you. And we need you. Amen. Because God has, great, has purposed a great work in this church. And God has purposed that some of you here, amen, are going to go from where you are now to a level of greatness you didn't expect in yourself. Amen. Today's message is titled, Work On It. Amen. I want you to all, if you can, turn to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 18. Uh, we're going to look at verses 1 through 6. It's a pretty familiar passage of scripture, and it deals with uh, the potter's house, a man going down to the potter's house and observing what's going on. Amen. I'm going to ask, amen. I'm going to ask someone who has a, a Bible if they would just read those verses. Amen. It's, it's really key to today's message. But we're going to kind of turn the potter's message around, around a little bit because I know some of you have heard it, the traditional how the message reads and um, how, how the pastors have given that word. And uh, God's, give, God's adding something different to that today. But it's for us. Amen. So uh, has anybody found Jeremiah 18 verses 1 through 6? Amen. Any, any, anyone who has, just go ahead and read it. Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. Amen. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought at work on the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, that seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Amen. amen. I want to say to each of you here, amen, this is the word that comes from directly from the Holy Spirit. It is easy to join a church that is established 
and has everything in place. There's really no work for you to do. Joining a church that is growing and establishing itself requires work and dedication. But the reward from God is greater. Amen. Like I said earlier, sometimes, you know, it, it, it's easier to say, hey, you know, this church, they have everything up and running and they have so many members and they have all their leaders in place. It's easy just to you know, pick up and go over there. Amen. Enjoy the service and go home and say, OK, well, I, I, I serve God today. Amen. But when you join a part of a ministry that's building and as Bishop says, we're in our growth phase. Amen. You have to kind of come in with a mentality that, yes, I come to praise God, but I come to help, too. And whatever I can do to help. Amen. I want to be there to help. Are we understanding? The Lord told me to tell you this. Some of you here are working yourselves out of your secular jobs into a full time paid job for the church. Are we understanding? Some people make the, and I'm one of them say to themselves, you know what? Going to my job every day, Monday through Friday, you know, it's okay. But I would rather spend my time here. I would rather work for God. Are we understanding? Now, now come on now, y'all. If y'all was working here, wouldn't you rather work for Bishop Tellis than work for the company you work for? You know you would. Oh, I see a couple. I see a little back and forth there. Amen. But think about it. If you could work full time for the church, amen, and your pocket will still be full and you can still take care of your bills and you can still do all that you needed to do. But in the middle of the day, if you wanted to stop and pray for a while, if you wanted to read your word, you wouldn't have your boss of your shoulder saying, put that thing down. You'd be like, praise be to God. You can find a quiet corner yourself and get with it. Are you understanding? The Lord wants to work some of you out of your jobs. And sometimes what we do is we say to ourselves, well, you know, I'm just, it's another day at church. No, you're actually in audition mode. Because you're saying to God, I'm here. I'm here to work. I'm here to help. And when God comes calling to appoint those two positions, because I'm going to help you out, it's going to come through the leader. Amen. He the one going to come to you and say, okay, you can start working at this job. Now you can start working here full time. Yeah. It's going to be those who are working faithfully in the church. It's going to be those who are putting the work in. It's going to be those who are dedicated to the cause. Are we understanding? Amen. In the book of Jeremiah, it talks about the prophet observing what's going on down at the potter's house. He sees the work that the potter is doing. He sees what it takes to make the pot that the potter is creating. And as he sees it, God begins to reveal to him. What is going on with the house of Israel and how they are in God's hand as the pot is in the potter's hand. 